Namaste. Now we are going to talk about afternoon um, meals, afternoon snacks, afternoon happy time. <laughs> in Ayurveda, in the afternoon, maybe like two, three, four hours, maybe five hours after the lunch, usually your body is dry. Usually it's the time to have a very sweet, oily and heavy thing. I call this the happy moments Ayurveda because there are all the other restrictions that are usually made during the morning and people are used to take this kind of food in the morning we can take in the afternoon. Like you can take yogurt with honey and some chai spices you can take some things that are with cheese, bread, the cheese should be hot, the bread should be toasted, and some spices. You can have chocolate, you can have uh, uh, scramble eggs, like that manner we used to make the oil, the turmeric, maybe some cumin, and the uh, scramble eggs, as we spoke before in the lunch video, I think. You can take uh, cakes, you can also take some sour fruits, you can take uh, peanuts, cashews and all these oily things. You can also take things that are not dry, that are not light and they are not, um, let's say, uh, cereal bars, okay? <clears throat> the point in Ayurveda is that during the morning our body is usually more um, watery. During the day it, it and loses this uh, water plasma element and also the oil because we are going to use this in our brain. In Ayurveda the brain is seen as a very um, big mass of oil in a semi-liquid state. You know that the neurons have this uh, protection of oil myelin uh, belt around the axions. But the point is that in Ayurveda, the jelly nature of the brain is uh, understood under the jala, the watery principle. So the best way to have a good brain, <laughs> uh, not to be with uh, losing the memory and the uh, degenerative disorders in the brain, is every day to eat good oil and good sugar, mainly in the afternoon. In the US now, there's still a lot of people that believe that oil is detrimental to health because uh, they are going to build up your cholesterol and this kind of stuff. Fats can uh, hamper your health, it's true, but usually the fats that hamper your health are deeply fried foods, like french fries and all that stuff. But if you eat uh, things that are softly fried, and I'm going to explain, or things that we uh, use uh, oil during the preparation, but they are not go with a long time uh, frying in the uh, oil, this is usually good. The exception is when the weather is very cold and very windy, during this time, it's beneficial, according to Ayurveda, to eat deeply fried foods. But it's exception, not rule. <laughs> so, in Ayurveda, during the afternoon, you can eat like some avocado with some peanuts, with some um, raisins. The point is that it's going to be good. <laughs> But you also should remember that tomorrow the world will still exist. In Ayurveda, even if the person is going on a, a weight reducing program, 
During the afternoon we are going to get some kind of good oil and some good uh, sugar, that is sesame oil, coconut oil, ghee, sunflower oil as a, just to say some and uh, brown sugar or honey it can be jaggery also uh, Ayurveda doesn't describe uh, maple syrup and all this stuff and in Brazil we don't use this so much so I still have to um, understand better how they work in daily use because there are some things that we don't have <laughs> in our native country so we are going to make the uh, proper uh, changes and adaptations that are needed needed to live in Finland, uh, live in Hawaii or live in Mexico or whatever but always remember to eat something in the afternoon if you are hungry. If you are hungry after the uh, lunch, just like one hour, one hour and a half after the lunch, probably this is a wrong quantity or quality of food during the lunch. The lunch should take you at least two to three hours feeling satisfied. After some time, you can start to feel light, but you are still not very hungry. This is not the correct time to eat the afternoon lunch. It should be when you feel light and hungry, and for this you can have some tea, like some ginger tea, some peppermint tea, depends on your case. But after three hours as an average, maybe four, maybe two, you are going to be willing to take some chocolate, some cappuccino, some... Uh, usually in the afternoon we don't take so much uh, coffee, black tea or green tea because this disturbs our focus and these are better taking in the morning, early morning. In the afternoon the restrictions are very low. But the main point is, take it in a quantity that is going to uh, still be tomorrow. You don't need to finish the bar, don't need to finish the cake, all the whole cake in that day, because tomorrow is still going to exist. This is a very important principle for the afternoon. It's a meal, but it's not a lunch, okay? If you're going to do physical exercise in the end of the afternoon, also, it's better to take a very light fruits meal there and after the exercise to take a more uh, substantial meal. In the afternoon, the sour fruits are preferred when it's cold. And also, we can take a thing that is called fruity that we are going to talk uh, soon. But along with fruits, if you want to have a very light meal, it's better go to fruits or juice fruits. It can be also sugar cane and can also be coconut water. It can also be acai, that Brazilian purple thing. It's very nutritious. But there are going to be difference between what we eat in the summer, what we eat in the winter, what we eat in autumn. In Ayurveda, we have six uh, seasons at maximum. Not all the places have the six seasons, but we are going to discuss, discuss this ahead. And the point is that uh, during summer and the hot seasons, we are going to take things in the afternoon that are more cooling, like things with coconuts and all the stuff. And when it's windy, we are going to take things that are more oily, like the cashews or something, maybe that it's fried. And when it's winter, that it's very cold, we are going to take things that are more heating and uh, they can uh, maintain our temperature more time like maybe eggs, maybe things that are made with some uh, not so white, more yellow cheese or some things that are with a lot of uh, Brazilian cashews, castanha do Pará <laughs> um, and also this is going to change uh, according to the person. 
In the afternoon, since there are a lot of um, possibilities, this is the most uh, changeable of all the meals that are going to do during the year. But as a rule, you're going to have a, a SOS package in your pockets or in your um, in your things that you take to work. So you can have a very quick meal and it's very nutritious. Usually it's going to be with seeds or cashews or this kind of stuff. Okay? Here, the only point is that you should not take in the same meal again eggs with cheese meat's not a very good thing to have in the afternoon it's better to take it in the lunch and our digestive system is stronger eggs usually is okay mushrooms in the afternoon also is not very good mushrooms can be at night but afternoon they are very dry I know that uh, this can be a little bit confusing. Oh, how can I say about this food is going to make me feel hot or cold or it's going to make me feel wet or dry? Don't worry. Along the time we are going to uh, be able to understand and to realize this in our daily experience, okay? As we do the consultations and this kind of stuff. So, once again, if you like this video, if you want to share it, if you want to subscribe, just do it. I'm going to be very happy with it. And also you can um, write me if you want to do consultations. Okay? Namaste.